There are things that you've driven or walked by your entire life and you have no idea of their significance, but everything has a story. Including a rundown house on the west side of Greensboro that looks like it's getting in the way of progress. But as you'll see in tonight's Buckley Report, it's one of the last connections to a golden era of sports here in the Piedmont Triad. This place has sure changed a lot in 100 years. It has. A uh, hundred years ago, this was all farmland. Everything around it is coming down. And the house at 6306 West Friendly Avenue may soon be too. But this was a 160 acre dairy farm of the Farrell family of baseball fame. Bunch of kids. Seven boys. What are you going to do on a Sunday afternoon when you're Quakers and you can't, you can't play cards, you can't go to the movies, you can't dance, you're going to uh, play baseball. And boy, could they play. Rick Farrell, in 1933, caught the first All-Star game ahead of two Hall of Famers, Bill Dickey and Mickey Cochran. Wes Farrell won 20 games or more for six different seasons and is listed as one of the top 100 baseball players in history. The home the Farrells grew up in a century ago was in the outfield. is not livable now. So you're looking at a ton of kids. Yeah. You know, who are living in, in this and house. And probably at that sleeping time. two or three to the bed, right. too. And, uh, People like Quaker historian Max yeah, Carter two, three, and Jeff Thigpen, who, like Rick Farrell, played catcher at Guilford oh, College, yeah. want to bring life back to this place that housed the original farm team. And so about 4 35 o'clock in the morning, out the back door, after her mom had called up the stairs saying, Boys, <laughs> time to milk the cows. No wonder they went into baseball. At first glance, it may not look like it's worth salvaging. Why save this house? If the house is not here, what are we going to put here? But in perspective, we need another gas station. <laughs> you know? Because this place is more than just another old home. Baseball is a very important part of North Carolina culture. According to some historians, the first baseball game ever played in North Carolina was in the 1860s, right here in the New Garden community. 1920s and 30s, Guilford College was essentially a minor league team for the majors. But as time passes, so do the people who played the game. So this is the Farrell family plot. You can tell by the baseballs next to the graves. Wes over here and Rick. Some of those baseballs almost as old as the headstones. And as the Farrell brothers rest beneath them, Max Carter and Jeff Thigpen want to make sure that their accomplishments don't fade with the memories of their names, and that's why saving their home is so important. When everybody is, is driving by here and seeing all this industrial stuff, this will stand out. Bob Buckley. I think it's part of the local history. Fox 8 News. We talked to the people who records show own the house, and they say they have no plans to tear it down, but to save it long term, it's going to take some money.